Get ready to have your mind blown by the strange and fascinating elements on the periodic table. From gases that light up neon signs to toxic metals that can kill, some elements are sure to surprise you with their weird and wonderful properties. I'm Mike with List25, and here are the 25 weirdest elements on the periodic table. But before we begin, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, join our Discord, and also become a member. Oh, click that notification bell. Let's go. Twenty-five Mercury. Mercury, also known as Quicksilver, great X-Men, is a heavy metal that is liquid at room temperature. How cool is that? This element is known for its unique properties, such as its ability to conduct electricity and its high surface tension, which allows it to form beads and walk along a flat surface. Talk about a weird element. Well, that's why it's on this list. Mercury has a long history of use in alchemy and traditional medicine, where it was believed to have magical healing powers. Oops! It was used to treat all kinds of ailments, from syphilis to constipation. Okay. But don't let its medicinal past fool you. Mercury can also be quite dangerous if ingested or inhaled. It's toxic to humans and can accumulate in the body over time, causing serious health problems like tremors, memory loss, and neurological damage. Despite its potential dangers, mercury remains an important element in a variety of industries and applications. From thermometers to fluorescent lamps, this weird and wonderful element is sure to surprise and delight you with its unique properties. 24. Lead. Lead is a heavy metal that is known for its low melting point and its ability to block radiation. This element has several industrial and consumer uses, including in batteries and pipes, as well as in construction materials, paints, and gasoline additives. Oh, lead paint's not great. But beware, lead is also toxic to humans and can accumulate in the body over time, causing several health problems, including developmental delays, kidney damage, and high blood pressure. It's particularly harmful to children and pregnant women as it can cause damage to the developing brain and nervous system. Despite its potential dangers, lead remains an important element in several industries and applications. It's also used in some types of radiation shielding and the production of certain types of ammunition. 23. Bismuth Bismuth has some unique properties and behaviors. For starters, it has an unusual crystal structure, known as a tetragonal crystal lattice which gives it some pretty cool physical properties, like expanding when it solidifies. Most other metals do the opposite. Bismuth also has one of the highest atomic weights of all the elements, making it one of the heaviest metals out there. But just like the others so far, bismuth can be toxic to humans and can cause health problems like kidney damage and neurological disorders. It's also relatively rare in the Earth's crust, making it a bit harder to come by. 22. Thallium Thallium is a metal that's known for its toxic properties. Fun! But it's also used in several industries and consumer products. This element is highly toxic to humans, oh great, and can cause serious health problems like hair loss, kidney damage, and neurological disorders. The scary part? Thallium is tasteless and odorless, so it's tough to detect if you're exposed to it. Despite its potential dangers, thallium has several uses, including pesticides, rodent poisons, and high temperature thermometers. It's also used in some types of imaging scans and as a catalyst in the production of some chemicals. Thallium can be found in small amounts in the Earth's crust, usually as a byproduct of the mining of other metals. And if that wasn't weird enough, thallium also has some radioactive isotopes that are used in scientific and medical applications. Thallium was discovered in 1861 and was initially used as a rat poison and an herbicide. But it wasn't long before people realized just how toxic it was to humans and its use was restricted. 21. Uranium Uranium is naturally radioactive and is the heaviest naturally occurring element on Earth. <laughs> Talk about heavy metal. Uh -huh. Yeah. It decays into some other radioactive elements over time, making it a source of radiation for medical and industrial purposes. But uranium isn't just used in nuclear power plants. It's also used in some type of military weapons. It can be found in small amounts in the Earth's crust and is mined in many countries around the world. Uranium has some isotopes, some of which are stable and some of which are radioactive. It was discovered in 1789 and was initially used for decorative purposes. It wasn't until later that people realized just how radioactive it was and started using it in military and scientific applications. Oh, you live, you learn. You, you get radioactive, you learn. Ooh, you could just become uranium man get bit by a uranium rod 20 americium 
Americium is a synthetic radioactive metal that is produced artificially in small quantities. This metal is highly radioactive and has several isotopes, some of which are stable and some of which are radioactive. Radioactive isotopes have some uses, including as a source of alpha particles in smoke detectors and as a power source in spacecraft. But that's not all. Americium is also used in many industrial and scientific applications, like as a source of neutrons in research and industry. It's important to know that americium does not occur naturally on Earth and must be produced artificially in a lab. It was discovered in 1944 and named after the Americas. It was initially produced as a byproduct of the development of the first atomic bombs. Despite its many uses, americium is highly toxic. None of these have been good so far and should be handled with caution. It can cause some health problems if ingested or inhaled and it can accumulate in the body over time. Please, for the love of all that is holy, do not just ingest random elements. 19. Plutonium Plutonium is a synthetic radioactive metal that is produced artificially in small quantities. Talk about a rare and mysterious element. Plutonium is used in some industrial and scientific applications, including as a fuel in nuclear weapons, as a power source in spacecraft, and as a source of neutrons in research and industry. It's important to note that plutonium does not occur naturally on Earth and must be produced artificially in a lab. 18. Polonium Polonium is highly radioactive and has some isotopes, all of which are radioactive. It's one of the most radioactive elements on the periodic table, so, you know, dangerous. Polonium is found in small amounts in the Earth's crust, but it can also be produced artificially. Despite its potential dangers, it has some industrial and scientific uses, including as a source of alpha particles in research and industry, as a heat source in some types of spacecraft, and as a poison. Oh, great. But beware, polonium is highly toxic. Well, we just said it was used as a poison, so I gathered, and can cause several health problems if ingested or inhaled, like poison. It can accumulate in the body over time and can cause damage to the respiratory system, the nervous system, and the kidneys, like poison. 17, tellurium. One of the most notable things about tellurium is its strong garlic-like smell. Ooh, it's one of the few elements that have a noticeable smell. This element is also highly reactive and can form several compounds with other elements. It's even reactive with water and oxygen, which can cause it to corrode. Despite its potential dangers, it has many industrial and scientific uses, including as an alloy agent in steel, as a catalyst in the production of certain chemicals, and as a component of some types of solar cells. It's found in small amounts in the crust and is usually obtained as a byproduct of the mining of other metals. 16. Selenium Selenium has some industrial and scientific uses, including as a component of some types of electronic devices, as a catalyst in the production of certain chemicals, and as a nutritional supplement. God, I hope it doesn't kill you. Selenium can be toxic to humans in high doses and cause many health problems. Nutritional supplement, including hair loss, nerve damage, and kidney damage. So I guess, you know, the pros outweigh the cons? I don't know. 15. Sulfur. Sulfur has several industrial and scientific uses, including as a component of some types of fertilizers, as a raw material in the production of chemicals, and as a disinfectant. It's found in small amounts in the Earth's crust and is usually obtained through the extraction of natural gas or oil. Despite its many uses, sulfur is not toxic to humans, oh boy, although it can be irritating to the skin and eyes. I have a fun story with this one. Went to Universal in elementary school as a field trip, and we went on Back to the Future of the Ride, and there was a part where it went through like a volcano, and the lady in our car behind us was super, super scared. And apparently when she got scared, she farts a lot. So it smelled terrible, but my friend over here didn't know that's what was happening. So he was like, wow, it's so realistic. You even can smell the sulfur. So just a story related to sulfur, that's all. 14, oxygen. Oxygen is a highly reactive element and it readily forms compounds with a wide range of other elements. It's also a key component of water, which is essential to life on Earth. Oxygen is the third most abundant element in the universe and is found in some different forms on Earth, including as a gas in the Earth's atmosphere and as a component of compounds, like I mentioned before, like in water and oxygen compounds in the Earth's crust. It was discovered in the late 18th century. I feel really bad for anyone trying to breathe before that and was named after the Greek word for acid forming, as it was initially believed to be a component of all acids. It was later discovered to be an element in its own right. Oxygen has several industrial and scientific uses, including as a fuel for combustion, as a component of welding glasses, and as a medical treatment for patients with respiratory problems. You know, and breathing. 
Despite its many uses, oxygen is not toxic to humans, oh thank goodness, but it can be flammable and can support the combustion of other materials. 13. Nitrogen Nitrogen is chemically unreactive and does not readily form compounds with other elements. It's also a gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure, which makes it unique among the elements. Nitrogen is the fourth most abundant element in the universe and is found in some different forms on Earth, including as a gas in the Earth's atmosphere and as a component of compounds such as proteins and DNA. It was discovered in the late 18th century and was named after the Greek word for nitre forming, as it was initially believed to be the component of all nitric acids. It was later discovered to be an element in its own right. This is getting repetitive. 12. Astatine Astatine is a super rare and super weird chemical element that is known for its radioactive properties. This element is so radioactive that it has several isotopes, all of which are radioactive too. In fact, astatine decays so quickly that it has a relatively short half-life. That means it disappears in the blink of an eye. Well, relatively speaking. Astatine is one of the rarest elements on the periodic table. It's found in small amounts in Earth's crust and is produced artificially in a lab. Despite its rarity, astatine has some really cool scientific uses, including as a source of alpha particles in research and as a tracer in medical imaging. However, it hasn't been used extensively in industrial applications due to its rarity and radioactivity. 11. Iodine Iodine is a bit of a chameleon. It can be found in several different forms, including as a solid, liquid, and gas. It's also pretty reactive and loves to form compounds with other elements. Very sociable. You might think that an element with so many different forms would be hard to find. Would you? But it's found in small amounts in the Earth's crust and is usually obtained through the extraction of natural gas or oil. 10. Bromine Bromine is a bit of a troublemaker. It is a bro, after all. It's highly reactive and loves to form compounds with other elements. In fact, bromine is so reactive that it's usually found in liquid form at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. Bromine is pretty common. It's found in small amounts in the Earth's crust and is usually obtained through the extraction of natural gas or oil. And if I'm not mistaken, it's also used in all the water rides at Disney and that gives it that smell, that distinct water ride smell that you do like Splash Mountain, rest in peace. You will be Tiana's Bayou Adventure soon. So you're coming back and Pirates of the Caribbean. So that's what you're smelling, it's bromine. Um, Midway to Main Street has a fantastic video on the bromine. I believe it's him. So check out that video, it's really cool. Nine, chlorine. Chlorine is a highly reactive element, give me element? Ke that's chemical element. And it's usually found as a gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. You might think that an element that is so reactive would be hard to find, but you'd be wrong. Chlorine is actually pretty common. It's found in, who thinks chlorine's not common? It's literally in every pool ever. It's found in small amounts in the Earth's crust and also pools, and is usually obtained through the extraction of natural gas or oil. Chlorine also has several isotopes, some of which are stable and some of which are radioactive. The radioactive isotopes are used in a variety of scientific and medical applications. Again, pools, just pools. Eight, fluorine. Fluorine is the most reactive element on the periodic table and loves to form compounds with other elements. In fact, it's so reactive that it's usually found as a gas at room temperature. Fluorine is a component of some types of pesticides, which helps to keep our crops healthy and free from pests. You know, as pesticides are known to do. It's also a component of some types of plastics, which makes our everyday objects strong and durable. Plus, it's added to water supplies as a public health measure to prevent tooth decay. So, how's that for useful? Seven, radon. Radon is radioactive and decays rapidly, which makes it pretty special. It's found in small amounts in the Earth's crust and is produced as a result of the radioactive decay of other elements. Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas that's present in the environment. Despite its radioactivity, radon has some really cool uses. It's a source of alpha particles in research and is used as a tracer in medical imaging. However, it hasn't been used extensively in industrial applications due to its radioactivity. It's getting very repetitive. Six, xenon. Xenon is found in small amounts in the Earth's atmosphere and some minerals in compounds. Despite its unreactive nature, xenon has some really cool uses. It's a component of some types of light bulbs, which helps to light up our homes and streets. Thank you for letting us know what light bulbs do. Plus, it's used as an anesthetic in medicine. 5. Krypton Krypton is a gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure, and it's found in small amounts in the Earth's atmosphere and some minerals and compounds. This element is not toxic to humans, though it is toxic to, no, wait, kryptonite, it, Superman. 
and does not pose a health risk when inhaled. However, it's important to handle Krypton with caution and to follow safety guidelines when using it. Krypton was discovered in 1898 and was named after the Greek word for hidden, Kryptos. Four, argon. Argon is a noble gas that's chemically unreactive, which makes it pretty special. It's gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure, and it's found in small amounts in the Earth's atmosphere and some minerals and compounds. Argon is a component of some types of light bulbs, which helps to light up our homes and streets. It's also a component of some types of refrigerants, which, you know, help to keep our food fresh and our drinks cold. And it's a component of some types of lasers, which are used in a variety of scientific and medical applications. Before we go on to the top three, I just want to apologize. I understand that I make really bad chemistry jokes, but that's because all the good ones are gone. <laughs> Three, neon. Neon is also a chemically unreactive gas, but don't let neon's unreactive nature fool you. It's got some seriously cool uses. It's a component of some types of light bulbs, you know, like neon lights uh, <laughs> that have vibrant glowing colors. It's also a component of some types of lasers as well, which are used in a variety of scientific and medical applications. Two, helium. Helium is a gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure, and it's the second most abundant element in the universe. Helium is a component of some types of balloons, like helium balloons, which helps us to float up into the sky and see the world from a whole new perspective. It's also a component of some types of airships, which allow us to travel through the air more traditionally. Plus, it's used as a coolant in nuclear magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI machines, and as a component of some types of lasers. I miss my laser. I used to have several laser pointers. Where'd they go? They're gone. They are gone. <laughs> Doesn't work. One, hydrogen. What makes hydrogen stand out is that it's highly flammable and can ignite easily, which can be both a good thing and a bad thing, depending on how it's used. Like the Hindenburg. Hydrogen is a component of some types of fuels, which helps us to power our cars, airplanes, and other forms of transportation. <laughs> like the Hindenburg. Too soon? It's also a component of some types of fertilizers, which help to keep our plants and gardens healthy and strong. And it's a component of some types of industrial chemicals, which helps to make all sorts of products that we use in our daily lives. Plus, it's used as a coolant in some types of nuclear power plants. How's that for versatile? So, what's the weirdest element you can think of? Again, didn't know elements were weird, but alas, here we are. Let us know in the comments below, and like I said before, like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell, check out our Discord, become a member, and I'll see you next time. Love you all. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.